So you're thinking about getting a drone this year, but you're just not sure which one to buy. Stick around and I'll try to help get you pointed in the right direction. Hey everybody, this is Charles Black with Draco Aerial, and today we're going to talk about entry-level drones. Now buying your first drone isn't as easy as just getting on the internet and selecting a drone, putting it in your shopping cart, checking out, and just waiting for it to arrive. There's a lot more to it, especially if you don't know what you're looking for in a drone. You need to ask yourself, why you're getting this drone? Is it just for recreational flying when you're out with your family? Or are you going to test the waters and get your part 107 and go out and fly commercially, maybe doing real estate photography? I'm going to give you my recommendation for a good entry level drone that you can use recreationally and that you could use in a commercial business. Now, be a lot of people that make comments saying that this is not a commercial drone, but it's okay. We've tested this drone, we've used this drone commercially, and the results have been outstanding. Now, even if you're new to drones overall, just about everybody knows there's a consumer level and there's a professional level. Now, what's the difference between the two? Well, of course, the more you spend, the higher end on the professional level into the enterprise levels, the more features you're gonna have on these drones. So now what I'm gonna to recommend to you for an entry-level drone is gonna be a DJI Mavic Air. Now I know there's gonna be a lot of comments, a lot of people saying, well, you can't use the Mavic Air for commercial. You can. My opinion, it is a good entry-level drone for commercial work. So the Mavic Air was released by DJI in January of 2018. So it's two years old now. Small, portable, 12 megapixel camera, and it does 4K video. And the biggest thing is it shoots in raw format. Now, if you're not familiar with what raw format is, this is where it's really good for you to go out and get an inexpensive Canon Rebel, even if it's used, and learn how to shoot in a raw format. In a raw format, leaves all the dynamic range in your photo. You can go back and you can do more editing, you can bring different colors out. Okay, so the Mavic Air has been a great recreational drone for me personally. It's just so small, compact, it will fit in cargo pant pockets. I have taken it and flown it in some of the most remote places you could imagine, in the deserts, in Alaska, what made this great being so compact is I didn't have a lot of gear to carry. I could take the drone, I could take the remote, I could take my phone and a couple extra batteries and I could go anywhere. I have flown this drone in 35 mile an hour winds. I have flown it in the rain. I have flown it in the snow. Now, I would not recommend for you to go fly your drone in the rain or the snow. I have. Again, I don't recommend it, but I have done it, and this drone has held up. Now the Mavic Air, it's got a bunch of additional features in it on top of being small. It's got obstacle avoidance, it's got quick shot features, active tracking. It'll even shoot 120 frames per second slow motion in 1080p. Now that was the only downfall that I wish it would have done is 120 frames per second in 4K, but it doesn't. 1080 was still good enough for me. Now you might be thinking, well, this sounds like a great recreational drone, but what if I do want to go into commercial work? Am I going to have to go buy a new drone? I'm going to tell you absolutely not. 
you can start entry level commercial work, start testing the waters with this drone. So you might be wondering, how did I end up using a Mavic Air on a commercial project when we've got several Inspires, several Phantom 4 Pros, why would we be using a consumer level drone when we have commercial level? Well, to back up and tell you what happened, we were on a job site in California. Um, we had to get clearance to fly near the airport. We're flying this job site and it just turned out to be a horribly windy day. And our Inspire was being tossed all over the place. Our Phantom was being thrown all over the place. And just as we were getting ready to give up on this job and completely reschedule it, we decided we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna send up the Mavic Air just to get this mapping project completed. We sent the Mavic up. Well, let me back up. So we had to make a whole bunch of adjustments into our mapping software get it all connected to our Mavic Air, and we sent it up to do the job. It took all the photos, all the images. We made the three hour drive back. And when we sat down and we started looking at the photos, they were coming out just as good as our Phantom 4 or our Inspire. Processed everything, sent it to the customer. Our customer was very happy. We were happy, we didn't have to reschedule it, drive three hours back schedule another day to drive three hours there and three hours back again. Kind of saved our rear end on that job. So now on some basic mapping, real estate photos, some basic aerial video, the Mavic Air is gonna carry its weight. Now, of course, if you're on bigger projects that you need an RTK system, and if you don't know what that is, that's a whole nother subject for another day. But that's just primarily advanced, um, very precise mapping. Of course, you're gonna need your professional level drones that are set up for that. But if you're not needing that, Mavic Air will get you started. So, if you're looking for an entry level drone, I'm definitely, I'm gonna tell you the Mavic Air. And if you do purchase it, in fact, I've got a link down in the description, direct to DJI. I recommend you get the Fly More Kit. And the reason I recommend the Fly More Kit is you're gonna get some extra accessories with it and you're also gonna get some additional batteries. Now, when we did our commercial job, that was the biggest thing is we had to change more batteries than what our bigger drones, because they stay up longer. So get the Fly More Kit. Get you a set of ND filters. If you're not, if you don't understand ND filters, then it's another topic for another day. I'm going to have to make a video on ND filters for drones because that is the most important thing to have. So get you the Fly More kit, some ND filters, get you a nice little case to protect it. Go out, have some fun. If you want to get your Part 107 license and start doing some commercial work, do that. Great entry level drone for that. You'll be happy with it. It'll be a drone you'll keep in your fleet for a long time. All right, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon just so you get more notifications as we put more videos up. If you got questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer anything. And until next time, keep flying safe. I'm out of here.